What's going on, Scorpio gang gang gang? Hope all is well with you guys. <clears throat> to my Scorpio kisses. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love you guys. To the moon and back and beyond. You know that. To my returning OG subscribers. What's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I appreciate that. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anyway, you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your blunt, your spliff, your H2O, your cat, your dog, your Bible, your incense, whatever it takes for you to stay tapping into these energies like we always do around about this time, Scorpio. If you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so. So your girl can get all the credit from you too. If you'd like a personal with me, you need to be a part of the Scorpio Kisses community. Catch me on the live or when I'm running a special, all right? To those of you rock stars who donate <coughs> to the channel, your name goes into a raffle for a chance to win free personal, personal readings with me. I do those twice a month. All your donations are appreciated. Every time you book me, I appreciate that as well. My nose is All right. <clears throat> so I'm getting something about a caution. Again. Something is cautioning you. I feel like something is... I feel like something happening in real time, Scorpio, and you don't see it. Yeah, look, betrayal. This feels like you trust somebody too much. You let your guards down too much. You you went against your better judgment with this person. <clears throat> they switched out a little caution. They switched up in the ninth end in here. This person wasn't able to <clears throat> stay committed or Somebody convinced this person to do, do be elsewhere or with somebody else. This could be like family influence, homeboy influence. I don't know what this is. <sighs> Let's see, Scorpio. What's the energy here for Scorpio? Yeah, fake apology. Somebody, somebody just being untruthful. Somebody, I feel like this is a third party situation going on. I feel like you caught them with this person before. I feel like this shit just reoccurring. It just, see, yeah, look, I can't make this shit up. Finding love again. I just feel like whoever this third party is, they keep, you catch them, they, they, they go their separate ways, but they keep finding each other again. That's what I'm getting. This person keeps telling you. You know, they don't mean anything. Yes, they do. Yes, they do mean something. This person always, when they're cheating, they're cheating with this one specific person. Yeah, look, the first energy out is hater. I mean, the third energy out, hater. This is somebody they claim to hate. This is somebody they claim to, you know, they done with. Because every time they get done with them, they, they do hate them. This person is their tease. This person is somebody who stands up to them. Okay, you. I, I feel like with you, you never had to. I feel like this person didn't show you this side. Why? Because they're not passionate about y'all's connection. This person is seeking pleasure. Like, just period. It says, a situation is about to explode. Shit's about to pop off up in flames. Yeah. Because cause not only are you finding out that this person is once again involving you in a third party situation, I think you're going to be more pissed off that it's the same hoe. Yeah, look. This is the same hoe y'all broke up about before. The same, the same hoe. Like, I keep wanting to say that, like, bitch. Your house might be going up in flames or it might be your car full of your shit. I don't know. Because, bitch, the same bitch. The same bitch you act like you hate all the time. The same bitch you ain't seen your children in three years because she refused. She want to play that card too. Like, boy, y'all back at it again? Y'all can't. Look, I can't make this shit up. Toxic relationship. Y'all back at it again? The only time they want each other is when they, when they with somebody else. 
It say both like the same. Yeah, they both the same. They, they, they are exactly the same fucking people. Okay, period. They deserve each other. <clears throat> oh, that's the broke up. Okay. Yeah, it's like... Y'all like serial... These, these, these folks are like serial karmics or some shit like that. Under bottom of the deck, depression is here. The overall energy. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What's the fake apology here? Confirmation, I heard somebody alarm going off. This person, whoever this is, this karma, they stay in touch. They could work together. This could be a close friend of the family or some shit like that. Because I feel like whoever this bitch is or this nigga, they always hanging around like a fly at a fucking picnic. They're so needy. They they stay connected to the family so they can have some type of access with the kids or whatever the fuck this loser is. Okay. Clarify this fake apology. <clears throat> the nine of wands in reverse. You giving up on this shit. You realize it's a fake apology. Why? Because this bitch back with the same bitch that we broke up about. That almost cost us our marriage. That almost cost me my fucking mental capacity. Bitch, I could be riding a paddy wagon right now. I could be sitting out. I could be eating jail food right now. <laughs> and, and you back with this bitch? Like this one, I'm telling y'all, this, this one of them type of shits where... Like, it's by the grace of God that the state's attorney didn't pick up the charges or some shit like that. Like, this bitch could have actually caused some type of chaos in your life. And, bitch, I'm catching you again cheating and it's with the same whole Like, okay. Yeah, the chariot. It's the same bitch. It's the same problem. But y'all can't stay connected. The nine of wands in reverse because y'all two fucking weirdos. Y'all two narcissists that keep trying to start something up that, that never works. Why? Because you you don't work. The only time y'all half-ass want each other is when y'all went somebody else. That's the true sign of a narcissist. what I say? Clarify fake apology with this chariot and the nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, the five of wands in reverse. It's, it's like this person wants you to stay in this shit. They want you to stay in the ring with them. You're like, bitch, I ain't fighting for your ass no more for what? Why would I be fighting for you? For what? 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 You keep going back to this broke down mountain ass bitch that's a karmic. Y'all refuse to heal. Y'all just keep coming, breaking up and making up, having sex and shit, making babies or whatever the fuck this is. It's like, nah. What if I just find in love again? It's like, it's something about them breaking up and knowing that they're with somebody else that makes them want to come together and have sex. But it's like... After the sex is gone, after the alcohol and drugs and is gone and real life set, set in, these people are two people that, you know, they're losers. They don't like to work. They don't like to do shit. Yeah, look, the Ten of Wands in reverse. What did I just say? They don't like to work. <clears throat> so these, you know, they, they couldn't stay in a connection with each other unless, you know, they, they, they have to branch off. At some point and go make a living because these motherfuckers together they just sorry they don't motivate each other. The ace of pentacles in reverse. These are the type of people that pass up on opportunities so they can stay home and just have sex all day. And then it's the 29th of the month and it's time to pay bills and ain't nobody got no fucking money. There's somebody who act like love gonna pay the bills. What I said. Clarify finding love again. They just keep finding the same type of this ain't even love, it's infatu infatuation, it's about sex. Yeah, the two of swords in reverse. They just can't make up, they, you know, it's like, <laughs> they back and forth, back and forth. This is somebody too, these, these two people are very conflicted about their self-worth, their self-esteem, anything that has to do with self, they're uncertain about. And that's why they keep coming together because it's familiar to them. I feel like with you, Scorpio, it's like this person knows you would be a good thing. 
But that's not what they're seeking because pain don't seek a good thing. It seek a good time. What I said. Clarify haters. Whoever this karmic is, this bitch know you, Scorpio. This bitch, you, you know, this the same bitch. She a hater. This somebody who just feels like, you know, I got to take Daryl from her. I just want to let her know. Why should I let her have Daryl? I'm the mother of his kids. I'm the da-da-da-da-da. What she don't know is you don't give a fuck about Daryl. You're the empress, and that's why she hating on you. You wouldn't have children with this bitch, for one. You know who the fuck you are for two. And once you found out who it was that he's sleeping around with, it's like you you instantly exited. Just period. Yeah, the two of wands. Straight up action here. This isn't a, even... This, this is about you making a decision from a boss-ass standpoint, from somebody who in the empress energy already, see? That's the thing about this person. She want to be you, but you're not me. You are the person you keep sleeping with. You got the three of swords. I'm telling you, every time they're together, it's nothing but grief. It's sex. It's nobody working. It's nobody being adult. Okay? I feel like, too, this, this woman, she's, much, she's so, somewhat of a... A gold digger. This could have been somebody who was like heavy in the streets at one time, like a drug dealer, or whatever you want to fucking call it. Somebody who had money. You know, the the children. I feel like they were planted. Like you just had kids because this is somebody who had money or some shit like this. This is somebody who tried to generate a relationship out of fucking one night stand or some shit. This is somebody who you know made sure they got pregnant or something like that is what I'm getting. Okay, she trapped this person. But the only thing about this person is they, they continue to stay trapped as well. They don't they're not trying to heal. They're not trying to get out of this type of situation. It's something something about them that they don't feel worthy enough for that type of connection. Not the kind that then they just not ready for it, Scorpio. Not the type of connection you bring to the table. Okay, just period. This situation is about to explode. You're finding out that this is the same person. Just straight up. That's what's going on here. Okay, first of all, here goes, here's the emperor. So there's your match right there. Emperor, empress. The cards are side by side. You meet your counterpart because you let go of this situation. Yeah, look, the Ten of Cups. I feel like, Scorpio, it's the fact that this should explode and you find out that it's the same person that sends you directly to someone. Yeah, look, the Ten of Swords. I can't make this shit up. I also feel like something something domestically ends for two people at the same time. You and whoever this new person coming in is. Whoever this emperor is. It, it's almost like you, you both have tower moments. You both break up with somebody or like get um, divorced from somebody at the same time. This is faded. Toxic relationship, both the same. Yeah, see, that's what I feel like that's about. I feel like you and whoever this person are, y'all in a toxic relationship. Y'all in the same type shit. Y'all are mirroring each other too. The only difference between y'all is whatever this last karmic lesson is y'all needed to learn, y'all have gotten it from this, this um, toxic-ass relationship. On toxic relationship, you're pulling the eight of pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like y'all both was in some type of toxic relationship for a while. Because I feel like you were trying to make this shit work. Not so much worried about what people think of the situation, but I feel like this person had indiscretions before. This like they second, third time around and just with the same bitch. It's like, you're done. You look, the seven of swords. This person like toxic, Scorpio. You don't like toxic. You like peace. You like serenity. You like, yeah, see... The devil. I'm telling you, these people, they drink, they drug, they fuck, they argue, they don't go on nobody's job, they don't have shit going on. They they beat people and manipulate people out of money and opportunities, and then they disappear. Once they, they hit a lick, they go back into this party in life or whatever this shit is they do. And then when everybody broke and fuck up, they go try to go back to the person that they were with before, like you, Scorpio, and it's just not working. Clarify, broke up. 
The first energy is the hair fit. So, I just feel like, you know, it's like I say, every time, every time these people get together, they break back up again. They're not meant to be together. It's their, it's their traumas that connect them. It's, it's all bad shit. It's their pain. It's their grief. It's their depression that connects them. It's nothing healthy or whole about either one of these people. And Scorpio, you was kind of like that person that was in between, you know, this happening. Because I feel like everything is coming to a head. You finding out it's this same person. I feel like this connection with this karmic is coming to a head. I feel like somebody is going into some type of very deep depression mentally. And that's what begins them to healing. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Other than that, they wouldn't heal. What else on broke up? I feel like two y'all's breakup is going to be the catalyst that moves this person towards wanting to heal. Wanting to leave this karmic bitch alone finally. Realizing this is somebody who trapped him in the first place. Okay, this person no longer want This person, this depression, I feel like this is your person, Scorpio, that you were with. I feel like this person no longer wants to be in this type of situation with this person. They really, yeah, look, the eight of cups. The first thing they're going to do is walk away from this, this karmic situation. They realize it's unhealthy. Yeah. And then you got the queen of cups. This is somebody remembering Scorpio, um, what real love is, how it felt, how it tastes. I'm hearing that. How it, how it felt. This, this, this person there somehow I, I feel like this person may have gotten clean first is what I'm getting. I feel like the depression is really what sends this person. I feel like that's how they go about this first. They get clean first. I feel like them sobering up is the gateway to them really like going within. And then once this person gets sober and gets a, a clear mind, the only thing they can think about is y'all's union. And how crazy they was to repeat a film with this crazy ass bitch just because they got children together. On broke up the eight of pentacles, the seven of swords and the devil. I just feel like these people were fated to be connected though. And I feel like, I feel like they was connected through bullshit. Like it, it, it wasn't good circumstances. Always under the influence of something, partying or, or you know, like I, I, I'm, I'm getting a one night stand that turned into 18 years, like that type of energy with this person. But I just feel like the pain, if you're if you're looking for somebody that's mirroring your pain, you know, they want they want certain type of some people for some people it's sex because that's what has them in that traumatic state. That's that's what their trauma is and they're not able to detach from it. So. You know, most people like this, they're very sexually mature. They they know, you know, G spots and specific things and places to touch and places to be, you know, to get you where you need to get to. And I feel like that's this situation with them. I feel like they it go both ways with them. Not that you're not Scorpio, it's just that it's really not the actual act of the sex. It's it's more so something mental. It's the pain. It's the exchanging of the pain for pleasure. Whatever that means. Okay. What's the advice here? So the Empress and the Emperor, your counterpart comes because of what's being exposed. Um, and, I, and when I say that, all I mean is I just feel like when you release this person, I feel like you open yourself back up to be loved again. The Knight of Swords is here. Yes, it feels like once you once you leave this, you get motivated. It it doesn't you you're not in the three of swords energy. You're motivated to be in love. Yeah, look, the ten of pentacles. I can't make this shit up. You're 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 open to this offer that this emperor is bringing because your counterpart is coming. Yeah, the six of cups is coming out in the reverse. I feel like this is somebody who. This is somebody new. This is somebody new. This is somebody determined. 
This is somebody, Scorpio, that knows that you're their person. Now, I'm not sure, like, what happens with, yeah, look, the Ace of Swords is your overall energy. I'm not sure what happens with this other person. Um, because I feel like they go somewhere and get sober first. But I, I truly feel like Scorpio, you, you just couldn't, it's, it's almost like you couldn't give this person what they needed at the time because what they needed is pleasure. Okay. They, they. You know, I feel like it's certain parts of this person that they're not willing to give up to just to be in a relationship, a committed relationship. First of all, I feel like, Scorpio, this person, they they just like this person's sex. It's, it's something about this person being open for anything, okay? I'm getting that. But it's like when this person begins to heal get sober, able to think clearly, they realize that they were not making love to this to this person like they were making, like, then it, it shifts, the energy shifts. It's like this person's mind is far away from whatever tantric-ass sex he was having with whoever this karmic was that liked pain and, you know, their pleasure is birthed out of pain. This is somebody now who remembers, you know, kissing you on your collarbone. This is somebody remembering you kissing them you know, on their neck and on their forehead. You know, things like that. This person starts to remember you, Scorpio. Let's see the um, energy here. What is this person thinking now that they're sober and getting healed? What's their idea about Scorpio? What's the energy here? This person is very remorseful. Okay, for one. I'm getting that energy. So the first energy card that flipped is Narcissist. And I get the energy with this card coming out, this energy coming out. It's like this person wants you to know that, listen, you were absolutely right to feel the way you feel felt and to move the way you move because I was in a narcissistic type energy. And that's, and that's what they were drawn to, somebody else who was just as narcissistic as them. You were somebody healed, told, and complete. They couldn't identify with your energy, Scorpio, just period. It says, I didn't let you meet my family or friends because they are toxic and they know all my secrets. You know, so you was getting limited. You was getting breadcrumb anyway. You, you wasn't even able to meet the family or the friends. Basically, you was a secret, Scorpio. And whoever this karmic was, this is the person they took around the family. Remember I said that they they the family are rooting for this shit. And the kids and all that type of shit. They they want this to go on. They just don't understand what's going on. You do. It says, I can hear your thoughts. Telepathy. Yeah, it's like it's what I told you. It's like now that this person is clean. They begin to remember love now. And what do they remember? Scorpio. They remember the most subtle as things that you did for them. They remember some of the just kindest notions is what I'm getting here. Something as simple as you saying like, you smell good today. They realize now that was really a compliment. There wasn't somebody trying to get over on him to make them do something that they wanted to do. You feel what I'm saying? It says, I miss your hugs and kisses. Of course he does. Of course she does. This person is <laughs> this person is realizing love without Scorpio. Once again. And it's okay because you know, Scorpio, I always say, you know, you you with these people to change them. You with these people to give them. God is sending them God's greatest gift. God is, it, it's almost like God is giving somebody that's awful a chance to see into some type of light or to see into some type of glimpse of hope in a relationship, in a connection with somebody like you. Somebody who's not perfect, but when you get connected to them, you realize that this is the, 
you know, this is the best thing God could have ever did for you in your life and for you to ignore it. You know, these people, but God has given them that lifeline because they time be up. What I say? The narcissistic shit going through women, you know, continuing this legacy in the next generation. It's like God is done with that shit. It says, I regret my actions. You just don't know how much I'm hurting for ruining our relationship. I told you. This person is in deep regret. This person is remembering love without Scorpio. This person is remembering everything about you. The small of your back, how your hair lay on the back of your... When your hair is pulled back in the ponytail, how your hair lay down on your neck. Certain outfits that you wear that drive this person crazy. And I ain't even talking about no lingerie or nothing, nothing like that. I'm talking about a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Your smile, the way you smell. This person is remembering every single thing about you that they acted like they could care less when y'all was in a connection. Just period. This person is... Now that this person is sober, now that this person is um, clean, now this person is going through depression, which to us it would be clinical, well, to them, to a doctor it would be clinical depression, but for us, the spiritual community is the dark night of the soul. It's somebody facing their biggest fears, and their biggest fear now is, now that they've opened, you blow, they exploded, they haul wide open, what do I do with this shit? I don't know what to do with this shit. This person don't know what to do with this shit. And they trust only you to instruct them. And I feel like you gone. You already mashed up. It says I need to be my on my own for a while. I can't keep living like this. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. This person going to get clean. You really, you may have think, thought that they ghosted you and went on with this other karmic bitch. They did, but that shit didn't last but five seconds. I see you in my dreams. This person is holding on to you spiritually. This person has hope that one day y'all will be back together and I just don't see it. Because I just feel like you was, a, you was this person's lifeline. And I feel like it worked. I feel like the reason God sent you in this person's life is for them to sober the fuck up and get their life together. And that's what they're doing. So your, your, your work is done, <laughs> pretty much. It says I wasn't ready to settle down. See what I'm saying? Your work is done. Now you is, though, ain't you? Now you ready to, to, to settle down. But the thing about it is you have to experience love without Scorpio. That's the whole thing with this person. Didn't I say this person miss smelling you? It, they're remembering Scorpio. They're remembering everything. I, and I feel like, too, if they just hold on to that energy... I feel like, because I feel like that's the energy that allowed you to meet your counterpart, Scorpio. I feel like that's all they really got to do. Just send you love and light and hold on to that energy of what is love. And when they meet that energy again, not you, Scorpio, but when they meet their person, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit the same way. Well, maybe not the same way, <laughs> but it's going to hit. You know what I'm saying? It says, I'm lacking faith. Yeah, they don't, they don't believe they'll ever find anybody like you. And that's true, but that's... You know, they need to change their way of thinking so that they can find someone, their counterpart. What else here? Because you with yours, the emperor and empress, you sit in your power with your power person. It, say, it says, I feel stupid as hell. They do. Because now that they truly know what love is and they're not trying to escape the pain, they're facing it and they're dealing with it. It's like, man, they wish now that they would have just been still in a connection with you dealing with this and letting you allowing you to navigate them through it to give them that wisdom now they realize that you understand not only understand what you was telling them but you understand okay so you could be somebody who dealt with addiction scorpio or whatever this is but you got over it because i feel like god was trying to show this person that no matter what your obstacles are no matter what you've been through no matter what you know, what you continue to struggle with, you can overcome it. I'm going to introduce you to somebody. I'm going to introduce you to pure light, somebody who went through way more than you did. You could even be a street walker or something. I don't know, Scorpio. But that's what he's showing me. God is showing me like he always in the Bible, he always used Noah was a drunk. David was a whore. Like it's no perfect person. But these are the people who go on and do miracles, do mighty things. And I just feel like this person is reflecting on the fact that you're somewhat of a Noah or like you're somebody like that. You feel me in their life? Like you changed their fucking life. You put them back on track. It says, when you cut me off, my world fell apart. Yes. 
And that's exactly what was supposed to happen. Their world fell apart and yours got right back together. Yours, yours got yours got exactly back on track. Hidden emotions are here. And that speaks to the to what I was speaking about with this karmic baby mama, whoever this bitch is. It's like this person always acted like they hated the baby mama. They wanted nothing to do with them. Wouldn't even deal with their children. But here they are having sex again. You catching them again with this with this woman. It says, I'm pretending not to care, but that could be further from the truth. Yeah. This person knows that there is no future with you guys or whatever. But it's something about the love of a Scorpio is just, it's, uh, it's undeniable. It's especially when you realize you really were the one that fucked it up. When you realize that, damn, this was, this was, this was a winner. This was somebody who really would have stood by me. Like this, every word this person said was real. Cause Scorpio, they love to get in these 12 step programs and hear shit. You didn't say it already. It's just confirmation for them. On the bottom of the deck, it says, I tried moving on, but they are not you. I can't make it up. And this person going to go through that. They're going to go through a time of really trying to figure this shit out. And really, what's the hardest part about their healing is they got to let you go in order to find this again. They got to let you go because it's up. You somewhere already happily married and connected, okay? <laughs> All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, join the membership, let those ads play every time you donate to the channel. It's appreciated. Your name goes into a drawing for a chance to, to win a free reading with me. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.